Notice this is a quadratic or higher degree inequality, so we'll solve using the number line method. Remember the first thing to do, write the related equation, x squared minus 16 times x squared minus 25 is equal to zero, and solve this related equation. This is the difference of two squares, it factors further, same thing here, this factors further, you will have plus or minus 4 as solutions, and also plus or minus 5. And we write these solutions and these solutions only on a number line. And make sure you put them in numerical order. So here's negative 5, here's negative 4, somewhere over here is 4, and somewhere over here is 5. And now we go back to our inequality. Remember, you only use the equation to simply find solutions to write on the number line. Now, if you'd like, you can use the factored form when you're checking solution regions. x plus 5, x minus 5, greater than or equal to 0. So certainly use this inequality or this inequality. They are equivalent. But now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, five solution regions to check. So I'll let you check them. We can quickly check this region because it would be zero that we could use for a test point. Any point in this region can be used, but obviously zero would be a simpler one. If x is zero, this is four times negative four times five times negative five. So that's negative 16 times negative 25. It's a big positive number. So of course it's greater than or equal to zero. And it does make that region true. This will not work. Your test point in this region works. Your test point in this region will not work. And in this region it will work. And now let's write down solution regions from left to right. This time I'll place brackets because of my greater than or equal to symbol. So from negative infinity, and of course that gets a parenthesis, to negative 5 bracket union. I do not include this interval. From negative 4 to 4 bracket, I do not include that interval. And from 5 to infinity. That's my solution set written in interval notation, and that is the solution set to this original inequality.